from All The Chatter, always teen, always social. Um, and today I'm here with my lovely co-host, Connor Mullen. <laughs> and we are here at the Cafe Fresco where we got our beautiful iced coffee coffees. They're really good. And um, I'm wearing some amazing stuff. I'm wearing um, a shirt from Garage, um, leggings from Aviva, and um, boots from Timberland like the high heels and they're really cool and a boyfriend shirt from garage as well what about you connor i'm wearing a west 49 shirt uh i don't know what brand it is but we'll keep that confidential another west 49 and guess what west 49 <laughs> okay so connor tell yes. us about yourself well my name is connor mullen and um i'm a local actor in calgary alberta canada um i've done a lot in acting but I'm really excited about this feature film in um, CIF, uh, Calgary International Film Festival, and um, TIFF, Toronto uh, International Film Festival. And um, what are some of the things that you have done and what do you have upcoming? Well, I've done um, commercials, I've been background on TV shows, um, I've also been a supporting role in, um, I'm really excited for this. Burn Your Maps. Um, Burn Your Maps is a movie about a young boy named Wes who feels like he's not in the right place. Now, I'm not, not, I'm not saying he's transgender, but like he doesn't feel like he's not in the right culture. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, there is a very special guest on there, and who was it? His name is Jacob Tremblay. That kid is amazing. I love that kid. I met him, and he's the cutest little thing I think I've ever met. Um, so... Getting away from all the acting and stuff, which is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. How was your first week back to school? Ah, oh, school. I mean, it was really relaxing. There wasn't, they didn't pressure us to do anything, no homework. Just getting to know the teachers. And uh, how was yours? Mine was really amazing, you know, just meeting a bunch of new friends, being in new classes, and just doing all these things. Um, and if you guys are just tuning in, this is All The Chatter. I'm Angel B with my lovely co-host, Connor Mullen. Hey. <laughs> and please do not forget to like and follow. And I enjoy all of you guys just tuning in. And please do not forget to chat with us. Um, so yeah, my back to school was pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, just lots of different changes. You know, my school had like a close to about a thousand kids in our school and then we dropped down to 395 because we had a new school so all of the um <laughs> all of the grade <laughs> all of the grade five six and sevens just kind of got go went away to the new school so yeah, that was pretty sucks. fun but um, before we go any further in the school topic let's just take it back to acting and i want to congratulate you on your joey's awards that you won Thank you so much! Yeah, I was nominated for a Joey Award, which is a Canadian award held in Vancouver, and it's it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm really proud, and a bunch of my friends are going to be there as well. They're nominated as well, so you know what? That's pretty amazing. So, yeah, so congratulations to you as well on all of your Thank you. stuff and <laughs> incredible things that you're doing. Um, so, friends. Do you stay with your same friends or just move on to a new group? Well, I like to make new friends and I always just kind of want to greet the new kids because it's hard being a new kid at a new school with zero friends and I just want to make them feel welcome at my school. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I do the same thing. Like, um, lots, there's a lot of foreign exchange students in my school. And so, you know, it does, it's really cool and it gets a little bit crazy because you have all these new people and everyone wants to be friends with them. So, you know, definitely new groups of friends for me and obviously for you as well. Right. Um, so, do you have a cafeteria in your school? And if so, do you like the food and what is your ultimate favorite? Well, the cafeteria at our school is a tiny little window in the corner of our gym, and um, they hand out some pretty greasy items. I don't normally get <laughs> stuff there. It's like chimichangas, pizzas. The one thing I like there is um, they sell some pretty killer mandarins. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that. As you guys all know, I am a huge baked potato addiction. I have a huge one, and I love them. I love french fries. That, like, if someone wants to get me a birthday present, that would probably be it. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, wink, nudge. <laughs> yeah, A. <laughs> um, so, celebrity gossip. Oh, dear. Okay, so, 
Of course, my obsession with Taylor Swift and Tom Hiddleston, it came to an end yesterday. And I watched the timeline and I almost started to cry. And so, you know, it's just, it's, it gets a little bit crazy with that. But moving on to the good news. Any Dancing with the Stars fans? Because I love watching it. I think it's really cool because you watch all these kids or different adults, I guess now, sadly, um, dance with like choreographed dancers. And I think that's really cool. So I heard some pretty cool news. Wizards of Waverly Place and The Fosters actor Jake T. Austin paired with Jenna Johnson for Dancing with the Stars. That brought back all childhood of my memories. childhood memories, yes. Yeah. Um, and if you guys don't know who Jake T. Austin is, he was Max. He was the little one, and now he's an adult. Oh. He was actually my favorite character. He yeah, he was, he was mine too. He was so creative, and he was like quirky and stuff, yeah. so I love that. And so, yeah, what about the celebrity gossip for you? Well, um, like you said, the Dancing with the Stars is pretty heavy. And I didn't quite know about the breakup with Taylor Swift. Um, and what, what was the ship name again? Sorry, you just have to run it past me one more time. <laughs> Hiddle Swift. Hiddle Swift for life. But I guess not anymore, sadly. <laughs> but she will find a new guy, and that will be an even better ship name because I forgot what the ship name was for her and Calvin Harris. Wouldn't it be like, <laughs> I don't want to attempt at this, it would be like, Swearus. <laughs> sounds like an exotic animal you find in like the coast though. And if you guys Sorry. are just tuning in, please do not forget to like this and um, follow me as well. And I respect all of you guys for following me. Thank you so much. And this is All The Chatter and I'm Angel B. I'm Connor Mullen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and don't forget that all when you bid, it all goes to charities, and so that's pretty much that's really cool. So, um, so gossip. What are some of your favorite video games and <clears throat> video games and just other things like that? So I have some um, video game lists here that are like really big and stuff, and it's like what's new and what people are like getting really excited about and so um with the release of pokemon go that was a very that was fun it was it got a lot of um people just to go outside interact with each other well, and I mean, actually were, exercise yeah. i know um <laughs> but <laughs> there's also a <laughs> run well because remember you and i were playing it and then you like ran to get like i don't know rip enzo's phone <laughs> yeah Anyways, so um, along with Pokemon Go, there's a new Pokemon game called um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, with the Pokemon um, series, they would always, always go like red and blue, so like the opposites of something. So with Sun, Sun is like one game, a separate game by itself, and Moon is once again a separate game, but they, yeah. they kind of intertwine. And um, so that's really exciting. And um, Call of Duty fans are freaking out, like, kind of like. 2% are happy, and everyone else is just throwing up. So Why? There's a new game called <laughs> Infinite Warfare, okay. and um, instead of keeping their boots to the ground like it should be, like Warfare should be, they've brought it to space. And COD fans are, like, getting really upset with Vondahar and Treyarch. They're not listening to the community, but the one thing that they did do is create Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, which is like the best Call of Duty. That's so. cool. Yeah. The level of confusion I am at right now, pretty high. Pretty high? Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but that's that's interesting. Um, okay. And what else? So we have Titanfall 2. Um, the pre okay, I'm going to say some, um, some words. Just, just follow me. Okay. They... They opened, they opened the pre-alpha for the <laughs> for the gamers and experience for themselves, and the community could not be more understanding and like accepting with the game what they brought it to. And the Titans, there's like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm confusing you a lot. Okay, next it's topic. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're gonna sorry. take it back to medieval times. Uh, Battlefield One. The can I say big words again? Yes, I'm you kidding. may say okay. big um, 
uh, they released the beta, and everyone is just super excited because Battlefield 1 takes place in World War 1, and if Call of Duty fans were like happy to have Modern Warfare 2 back, imagine how happy they are for Battlefield 1. Just, wow. And one of my most favorite games, this is the last topic, one of my most favorite games that I've ever had, Elder Scrolls V, they've remastered it. So it's out for the new generation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's out for the new generation of uh, consoles, and players are really happy, especially me, because it was my favorite. Oh, that's so sweet. And that concludes my gaming topic. That's awesome. Okay, so there are some other really cool things here in the gossip. So, phone box, the first upgradable smartphone. Hopefully. <laughs> Unavoidable upgrades after a cracked screen, dead battery, broken cameras, renders your phone. Um, and that's, I think this is really cool. Um, phone blocks is a concept for customizable smartphones made up of blocks and can be instantly swapped and replaced. In theory, you'll never need a new phone again. For me, we'll see how that works. I always need a new phone. Um, because I'm like one of those people, new phone comes out, I need it after I just got like this success. <laughs> um, but getting away from this topic for a second, mm -hmm. the new 7 phone. It seems amazing, but the one thing that makes me really upset and I have no idea why, I just think it's because I am a huge music fan, is it doesn't have the ear jack. Yeah, that, the ear jack. Well, um, Samsung are very happy that they get to keep <laughs> Jack, and everyone is just Apple. You guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, looks like. And, like, they're, like, blocks that you put over your phone. And I think they're, like, um... They're software you, upgrades. Sort of, like that, but, like, you just put them on your phones, and I don't know if it's, like, the screen of your phone that, like, it's, like, it's, like, a, it's, like, a magnet that hooks onto it, and then it just kind of just stays there, and so I think that's really cool, honestly, because, you know, I am at a school where there's all these kids that will push you around, like, like, to get to somewhere, they all, like, you, and then, and then, <laughs> that's what that thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then, like, you know, I think I've broken my screen, like, twice. Yeah. So that that was pretty cool. Yeah, so that is for, like, the newest, like, updates and stuff. And now we are going to, sh well, I'm going to show you some of my favorite Instagram, like, funny things that I see on Instagram. Oh, this better be good. <laughs> okay. So I, I, like, Snoop Dogg and, like, seeing all the memes. <laughs> for Snoop Dogg and so it says um in like the top it says can you be serious for one second and then it says me and then this is it's, like is that actually Snoop Dogg? <laughs> yeah <laughs> is he baked? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that and then I don't really understand this concept but because I'm not in high school and so it says, when I hear a freshman complaining about high school, you have been here for three days, all right? I've been here for three years. Is that Maze Runner? <laughs> yeah. I love that and, then, and so it's just really funny. And then this happens to me sometimes in restaurants when, like, when you were the first person to order and everyone gets their food before you. Mr. Like Krabs from the Krabby Patty. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then there's this video that makes me really happy. <laughs> and then so and then the ending so that's basically my favorite for, for that what oh. about you Connor do you have like any favorite like things like that you have oh. on your phone or like screenshotted um and if not then it's totally cool I have this video of an Olympic diver Oh, 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 I know which one you're talking about, yeah. Um, it's actually pretty sad because, like, yeah, his back just... Oh, <laughs> belly, or back flop, actually. Uh, <laughs> Ow. Could you just imagine? I, I've done pain? a back flop before. And I'm Angel B from All the Chatter, 
If you guys are just tuning in, welcome. This is my lovely co-host, Connor Mullen. Hey. 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 And then we, um, and we are here at the amazing cafe. You can't really see the print. But oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> and then, and then these are amazing, delicious iced coffee. And please do not forget to follow and like this video. And all of your uh, Bitcoins do go to charity. Um, and please follow me on all of m my social media, Angel B Online, full, full, um, for like um, Instagram and Twitter. And Connor. Um. Yeah. Sorry. My Instagram is at http http .connor.ig. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to. Well, I'm going to show you some really cool locker materials. And so, I love to decorate my locker. I feel like. If when I walk into school at like 7 a.m., you know it's good. It's a good thing to look forward to. So here are some of the necessities that you would need. So obviously, if you you will probably need a what is it called? It's like it's like a rack. It's like it's a shelf that you put in your locker, and it like fits in your locker like so perfectly. It's amazing. And like I put my binders on here and I put like other things on here. But my locker this year, I already had a shelf, like top shelf to put in there and it fits my binders perfectly. So it's it's really cool. I like this and this is definitely something that you would need. And then also you need a mirror because I always go to school with makeup on. And so this would probably be a mirror that you would want. And I'd like to, for a DIY, I decorated it, so I went to Michael's, and ooh, I it's went so to Michael's. Shiny. <laughs> it is very shiny. I went to Michael's, and I got this really cool, like the spikes, and I, and I ripped them apart, and then I just kind of glued, hot glued them on, and I used like these gems from like the dollar store, so they were pretty cool. I like it, and it's by Five Star, and they're really awesome. And then I have this because with all the new like Instax Mini Eight, and then like all of the like things that you put on your wall there's this that you can put in your locker and you just like clip it and it's really cool so I like that a lot and it's also good for like displaying things it's also so it's yeah. actually pretty pretty and it, it, pretty, it pretty. is very pretty pretty, pretty it is pretty, pretty. <laughs> and then I have this really cool typewriter thing to make notes and um it doesn't have a magnet however you just put it on the bottom of your locker and then you write it on it and then you're like hold on I'm gonna fail off this Yay! I did it! And then, and then, it just, it's like a really long... It's a <laughs> sheet of paper. <laughs> it's a really long sheet of paper, and you can like open it, and then you'll see this. Show them the typewriter. And then, it's a typewriter, too. Oh, so I like cool. that. So it's really awesome. Really old-fashioned. Really old-fashioned. You have a walker carpet. I used this in grade 5 because it's so fluffy and fun and I thought that was something that I automatically needed which I still do and like if you have like wet boots you can put it on and it's like one of those like hair things like you have those hair mitts after you get out of the shower and you like dry your hair I don't if anyone knows what I'm talking about yeah please please know yeah please oh, and then just let me know and then tape yes. I have an obsession with tape really I love love tape and then so cheetah print that's awesome so that's almost it for the locker necessities and my favorite Do not forget to like this video and um, 
Angel B, all the chatter, and please do not forget to follow us on social media. I'm at Angel B for Instagram and Twitter. And Connor Mullen, http dot Connor dot IG. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's such a nice ring to it. It does. And then, and then, as we were just saying, this it's really cool because you just tear it away, and it just comes off so nicely. It's, it's like that. But then you just like do this. I'm having fun playing with it at the moment because it's like this. So really, it's it's really awesome. Um, so it's like endless hours of fun. <laughs> endless hours of fun. Okay, so um, I'm going to ask you a serious question. This is when it gets really serious. Who are your new favorite top five five YouTubers? This is serious. <laughs> this is serious. This is serious. So, <clears throat> to me, YouTube is a very interesting platform, and the creators have put so much work and hard, like, like blood and tears. That I don't think they sweat all over their work because I would sweat. I'd be scared. <laughs> I'd be like, Anyways, one so, million likes. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Um, Please. So, with YouTube, um, there's a lot of. Huh, okay, okay. So, the most subscribed YouTuber in, in like, YouTube is... And you like him, right? I, I don't know. I haven't yeah. watched his content in a while, but um, when I was younger, I used to love him. Uh, his name is PewDiePie, and he's very commonly... <laughs> don't laugh at I'm him. I'm sorry, I love that name. Oh! PewDiePie, Pie. Pew, 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 pew. Anyways, so, um, he's a Swedish sensation on YouTube, and he's... Really good what he does. When you think about, I'm <laughs> when you think about it, he's put so much work into it to reach over 47 million subscribers. That's really cool. Anyways, so um, next is Tanner Fox. He's um, he's a scootering sensation. Um, <laughs> sensation, sensation. I'm sorry, I love that <laughs> scootering sensation. Um, oh, I, oh, we're connecting with someone. Yay! Oh, oh, hi. I don't think I can It is connecting at the moment. Hi, uh, I work at Bitchat. I want to know the broadcasting medium that you're using. Are you using a phone or a MacBook or a PC? You're using a MacBook and you're connected to a Wi Fi? You're connected to a Wi Fi, right? Wi Fi, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I saw that in the last chat that you had, you lost your audio. So in the live stream, the caller's audio was coming and your audio was not coming. So we are testing it right now. So hopefully things will be fine. Okay, okay. Okay, so right after this chat is over, we'll be testing again. We'll be checking your live stream, how it's coming. So if there's anything, we'll figure it out. Okay. Thank you so much. Awesome. You've got two callers. Okay. That was really good. That um, was close. That was close. I okay. almost spilled my drink. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, so... um. Tanner Fox, over 1 million um, subscribers, and he's from USA. Next is um, one of my personal favorites. Um, her name is kind of weird. It's, oh my god, it's Firefox with two X's. Um, she's uh, over 1 million subscribers and um, from USA. Uh, Merc Music, he's, I call him the Merc with the mouth, like Deadpool. Um, <laughs> over 3 like million subscribers, uh, Florida. And, um, Syndicate Project. He's probably the biggest inspiration on YouTube for me. Uh, over 9 million and from Manchester, United Kingdom. That's that awesome. Okay, so super quick, I'm going to do this. My top five, uh, Carly Steele, Reaction Time, My Life is Eva, Brent Riviera, and, oh God, what's Cameron Dallas. So those are my top five. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Um, this is Angel B, um, All the Chatter, and... Um, thank you guys so much for liking this, and I love you guys all for tuning in. Um, my lovely co-host, Connor Mullen. Hi.
Okay. Um, again, our social medias are Angel B. Mine is Angel B Online for Insta and Twitter, and his is http dot carter dot ig. Yeah. For, for Instagram. For Insta. So thank you guys so much. Um, and as well, um, yeah, thank you so much. And we'll see you Tuesday. Thank you. 3.30 Pacific. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.